Hello everybody, thanks for tuning into this video today, I really appreciate it. So today I'm gonna talk on my thoughts about the Marvel's trailer that came out. Okay, the video title is a lie actually. I In the title I put the Marvel's trailer looks amazing. But in reality, I think it looks horrible. Let me explain why I did it such a way. The last video I did about Disney, which is about Disney live action remake, I mostly criticized it and they copyright claimed it. And knowing that Disney owns Marvel, they if I criticize them in the title, they'll probably copyright claim me again. That's why I'm not that's why I had to lie in the title, so I apologize for that. Hopefully this video will not get a copyright claim. I'm hoping for it, like crisscross, crisscross, hopefully. So yeah, that's that. So forgive me for the video's title. So I'm just going to talk about my thoughts on the Marvel's trailer that came out a few days back. And yeah, it's just my opinion. You can have yours, but this is just my opinion, alright? So let's do this. So judging by the trailer, it seems like Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, as well as Monica Rambeau will, can switch places with, with each other when they use their powers. At least that was what I was getting from the trailer. And firstly, the premise of the movie is already very silly. Like, it sounds dumb. Like, what? <laughs> So yeah, so I, I, okay, I understand having Captain Marvel in this big budget film because her first film made over a billion dollars. But to be fair, to be fair, her first film came in, was sandwiched in between Infinity War and Endgame, which are two big movies. So I think that's the reason why it made a lot of money in the first place. Like you, if you look at Endgame, you can tell already she wasn't in like the movie, like she was rarely in the movie, like she was in five to 10 minutes of the movie for a three hour long movie that she was clearly not a very popular character so yeah and then you bring in miss marvel who is from a disney plus show which did not get much viewership in the first place and then you bring in monica rambo who's not even the main character of a disney plus show that she was in i get that she was in the first captain marvel film but she's not really that popular of a character either so it's very strange having these two characters in a big budget film I would understand why they bring in Captain Marvel, although I don't think she's very popular, but I still understand why, but these two characters doesn't seem right, so that's that. So I personally don't, so the film is made of with characters which I don't think people, many people are going to be interested in watching. Think about it, at first they tried to make a Captain Marvel 2, like a sequel to the first Captain Marvel movie, and then they changed it to the Marvels, and the date, like, it keeps being pushed back. You can tell that there's some, something going on with the post-production in the behind the scenes and all you can see there's some kind of drama going on so so this problem this movie came with a lot of problems that like it keeps getting delayed and such and recently i i talked about superhero film fatigue like in that video i talked about how the mcu has been in a downward spiral recently phase 4 did not do so well phase 5 uh ant-man and the, and the wasp quantumania was i don't think it did with that well at the box office either and with this movie it's only going to get worse like there's nothing in this trailer that wants me I, and I don't think many people would want to even watch this movie. Like what? Nobody is asking for this movie at all. Like the trailer is not a appealing at all in fact. So yeah, that's that. Okay, so here's the thing. Nobody's asking for this movie. The poster kind of sucks. The trailer sucks. This is going to be a major L for Disney. So yeah, those are my thoughts. It will probably make a lot of money in the opening weekend like we have seen in all the previous MCU films. But the thing about the more recent MCU films is that from the opening weekend to the second weekend, there's a massive drop in the box office. And I think that's what's going to happen for this movie. Opening weekend, you will earn a lot. Second weekend, there's going to be a massive drop. So that's, and that's clearly not good, but that's what's happening to MCU films. You can see with Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, and all the other previous recent MCU films, like Thor Love and Thunder also had the same problem. Doctor Strange 2 had the same problem. And yeah. Hopefully they, they they pick up the pace and hopefully Kevin Feige thinks of something to deal with this. So yeah, that's that. So those are my thoughts. I think it's not going to be very good judging by the trailer. And those are just my thoughts. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.